We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking another first look, this time at The Hand of Merlin. It's by Room C Games, Crow Team, and Versus Evil, releasing into Steam Early Access on May 11th, 2021. And I've actually been wanting to get my hands on this for a while, and I just, like a week or two ago, got my hands on the code. Been super busy, but we finally managed to push it in to the final slot in our 12 days of Bump Miss. So on the 12th day of Bump Miss, McSquiggums brings to thee the Hand of Merlin in Early Access. And we're going to run down real quick before we dive into the game and check it out. Uh, the 12 days that we did do, so you guys can go back and watch those and check them out. We'll... We'll not hide, but we'll move it off of like the, the main thing on the channel probably within a week or so. So if you guys want to go back and check them all out in a playlist, it's all going to be there. Search for the 12 Days of Bump Miss. I did a 2020 and a 2021 now. So the very first day of Bump Miss was um, Maho Kenshi. Then we had Grey Heritage Faded Vision, Heroes of Steel, Rune Factory 4 Special, Legion TD2, House Flipper, Song of Iron, Godless, Looking for Heals, Reverse Defenders, Spire of Sorcery, and The Hand of Merlin. And not all of those are going to be first looks. Not all of those are going to be indie spotlights. Some of those are going to be the start of a series. So there will be continuations throughout. But they were all new to the channel, stuff that I had never covered before. And that is what my 12 Days of Bumpness were all about this year. I think it was the same thing last year. And next year, I'm going to try. I'm hoping I can do it, and it's going to require developers and publishers and all those folks to work with me to make it happen. But hopefully, I'll be able to have 12 days new stuff that's never before been seen on the channel. But I'm hoping to be able to get, at least get a single code for each of those games in addition to what they already hooked me up with to give away to somebody as a, you know like an actual gift. I think that would be a cool little extra added feature. That being said, I'm going to shut up about that. We're going to go in and I'm going to read this little thing here to the top line because I really, really like uh, the way they word this. There is an opening cinematic. It's probably even on the Steam store page. And I say cinematic. It's, it's uh, just a storyline. So uh, go check it out. It's pretty neat. What if a cataclysmic event tore open a celestial doorway for alien monstrosities to seep into Arthurian Britain? How would the Knights of the Round Table react to a cosmic horror from beyond? What if Merlin was a trans-dimensional being trying to save not one world, but infinite ones? Pretty cool premise. I like it. That's awesome. I am eager to get into this and just get started. It's going to be really difficult for me to only play a little bit of this. I'm going to hit this once it is uh, fully released, by the by. We'll go with the normal. As you guys know, I like to start with the way the game is intended to be played by the developers so whatever quote unquote normal is that's how i want to run with it well let's just uh, read through what each difficulty offers here story a narrative experience increased hero health reduced enemy attributes max mana is increased to seven change but start slowly because direction is more important than speed edson marquis uh, the default rule said heroes have sustained or sorry standard attributes Enemies have standard attributes as well. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 Again, W.E. Hickson. And then a robust challenge is the hard difficulty. Increased enemy attributes. Corruption encounters feature dire enemies. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Helmuth von Moltke. I have no idea. It's fine. All right. You guys know I like to put your pronunciation. It's what I do. Ooh, this looks pretty. Merlin's core unlocked powerful guardian spells. My core. It has become so weak. But with a single essence remaining, I must choose carefully which of my powers to restore. Uh-huh. Yep, no, cool. Alright, so we've got prophecy. When cast a spell, reduce all active cooldowns by one. Translocation, teleport to a target position, grant seven stacks of evading to all allies. Oh my god. Uh, plus seven evasion, expires, losing all stacks on turn start. Okay. And then restore five health to an ally. Ooh, tough calls. I think I'm going to go with the uh, the healing. 
I'm getting older, but I'm getting wiser too. I mean, we, we could go the tried and true. Oh, hey, you should stay a while and listen. All right, we get to choose, select three heroes for your party. We have Brunor, Merwin, and Morgan. All right, so, um, oh, we're, we're literally, okay, we, we don't, we don't really have choices here, I, I guess, like, I can't choose you. Okay, okay. So we have these, we have these heroes, we can't change, like, what types of heroes we have, which is fascinating. So we are kind of already locked in. Um, we just add them like a few times. Like, no, okay. I, I just just trying to see what we can get away with, what we can do here. I can only reach out to a handful of heroes now. I will need to expand my influence. It's fine. All right, let's begin. Exciting times. The game looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's definitely up my alley. Something that I uh, was hoping to get my hands on much earlier on, but I, I finally found a way to get it, and here it is. So, good stuff all around. And a shout-out and a thank you to the developers for approving my request and sending this my way. The Holy Grail. For many nights now, the spirit of Merlin has haunted your dreams. It speaks to you of a darkness from beyond this world. A darkness that will tear apart everything you know and love. That is why Merlin has reached out his hand and gathered those who are ready to stand against the Cataclysm. Hear the voice of Merlin. This is your task, Merlin's voice whispers. You must seek Camelot, where the Grail awaits. Take it, then make your way across Albion to Corbenic. Brave the dangers of the Marca Hispanica. Hispanic, yep, sure, that's, I, I said that right, probably. Journey through Al and Dallas, then cross the White Sea until you reach Jerusalem. There your world will be saved, or ended. I guess we're accepting uh, Merlin's quest. After many days of travel, you have arrived at Camelot. Before you lies the heart of Albion, King Arthur's dream made manifest. Here... You will find the grail and begin your quest. Enter Camelot. We get 31 cash monies to meet. I, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, a, a purple diamond. And we got some 40 plus R's. R. I think, I think we're, we're becoming pirates. It's fine. Camelot, Camelot is long past the height of its glory. King Galahad's long war against the Moors has been costly in lives as well as gold. There is an air of rust and decay about the place. Even the tapestries hang crooked. Quest an audience with good old Kingy. Galahad has grown old and weak. That's unfortunate. The weight of kingship rests heavy on his shoulders, and he is filled with regrets. Take the grail, he says bitterly. It is as little value to me as it was to Arthur at Camelot. I thought its discovery portended the healing of the world that I had been chosen as an instrument of divine will to bring the true faith to the heathens. But what have I accomplished? Nothing but bloodshed. It was all vanity in the end. The grail has been one of Merlin's trinkets. He holds the grail out towards you. See, it even changes its appearance according to who, to who bears it. He who bears it, maybe she? I don't know. Merlin loves his little trickeries and glamours. Tell me, what is the greatest virtue of all? Piety. Or valor. Ooh. Oh, valor. Oh, this is, Okay, there's a little bit of a breakdown here. Bearer is granted one stack of bearer of piety. 40% uh, healing received in both armor and uh, health points. Okay, and it does not decay. All right. What is this one? Bearer is granted two stacks of Bearer of Valor, huh? Deal an extra two points of damage when targeting an enemy with more health and armor than you. And an extra one damage if they have more power. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to go with Valor just because I said it, but I think I like the other one better. As you take the Grail, its appearance changes, changes, shifting before your very eyes. As I said, Merlin and his glamours. Galahad laughs bitterly. Do not be too impressed. They are magicians' tricks, not signs of divine truth. 
But no matter, take it and be gone. All right. If you insist. As the doors of the throne room close behind you, a young lady of the court pulls you aside. The king has fallen into despair, she whispers. He sees the darkness ahead, but the burden of his endless war against the Moors is too heavy. But if Camelot does not act, who will? Therefore, let me use what little power I have to aid you. Do you require additional supplies or perhaps the services of Galahad's blacksmiths? Um, I'll ask for some supplies. So be it, says the lady. Uh, I hope the king will forgive me for helping you. He is quick to anger nowadays, but I believe that in his soul, he still holds a remnant of the old faith. Now the burden he failed to bear is yours. Good luck. God be with you. Begin my journey. Welcome to the Hand of Merlin. These hints will help you understand the game's systems. To see a specific hint again, select the question mark on the top right. For starters, open your journal to view your warband. J. That didn't do anything. Close this, I guess. J. Still didn't do anything. How do I open my journal? I, I, I didn't do that. Uh, yeah, what, where is it? Journal. Oh, oh, the book. All right, hold on. Ah, there's the warband. Could you... Could you let me do the things before you jump ahead to the next? All right, we're just going to read a whole bunch of stuff. And hopefully I can figure it out and remember. Uh, this is your warband page. Select a character to see the attributes on the right side. You also have access to relics like the Grail and choose who will carry it. Oh. To close, press black. To, to close, press black space. Black space. There's black space all around. Uh, backspace. Okay, cool. Uh, relics. They can be acquired in encounters and lost if the wielder dies in combat. Oh, unless it's the Grail. They can provide passive effects or abilities to use in combat. Check each individual relic for more information. Navigation. The hand symbol shows your current location. Sure. Move the camera with WASD. Select a node to move to a new encounter. Your objective is to reach Corbenic, seen on the right side. This is your first step toward reaching Jerusalem. All right, so the Grail. Oh, okay, so he's got it. Oh, and he's got the extra. Okay, yeah, no, no that's fine. And we have no other relics right now. Okay, that's cool. A man of great passion and deep melancholy, Sir Brunor, is driven by the death of his father, whose armor he wears. He once wished to become a knight of the round table, but abandoned that dream when Arthur died. Merowyn, the granddaughter of King Caradoc, her royal blood has allowed her to live a life usually reserved for men. She is young and aloof and cares little about breaking the law, but in her heart she wants to do good in her own way. And Morgan. Morgan Todd was once Arthur's chief physician, serving him at Camelot, and on many on his many campaigns to unite Albion. He knows much of the way of the ancient druids and is stronger than he appears, but he is weighed down by his grief at having failed to heal Arthur after the Battle of Camlin. Well, that is weighty. Okay, so we get to basically move around to whatever we want, huh? All right, I'm here for this game. All right, what are we supposed to be doing? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. There's a, a heroic node over here. That's probably not great. Or maybe it's fine. I don't know. Uh, we'll just be heading to a place. Is there, ah, I was like, is there a way to, like, have everything show up? All right, let's open our journal again. I apologize. Just real quick. Oh. Could you... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's... Guardian Coco, what? Oh, the thing at the beginning. Okay, I got you. I got you. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna move out. That stuff's gonna happen as we move around. Okay, a scheme uncovered. Passing by the ruins of an old church destroyed in King Vortigern's war against the Picts, you overhear voices speaking of a raid. It seems that a group of bandits is using the church as a hideout. Sneak closer and eavesdrop. We cannot waste our time on this. We can retreat. Oh, those are retreat points. Okay. Intrude on their meeting. 
You know what we're gonna do. You know what we're gonna do. You enter the ruin, catching the raiders discussing their villainous plans. They have no choice now. They cannot let you live. Stand your ground. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. We're getting into the combat. We're getting into the tactical side of stuff. And it look good. No, oh, we're gonna get shot in the face. Well, that didn't feel good. But we were pretty keen about it, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, cool. Welcome to your first skirmish. To move the camera, wazzed or uh, dragged to the pan. Okay. Select your character, click on the portrait, or press tab to cycle between them, then click on any tile to move. I think I'm ready for it. So we can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we like. All right, so. Bit tankier. I think there's flanking. Aha! I'm behind you. I can kick you in the butt. Oh, no, that's wrong. Uh, I can slash or I can bash. Five damage, five damage. Knock back to a nut. Oh, okay. How many, how many AP do we have left? Oh, oh, you're telling me stuff again. You just used a skill. You can check your skills on your action bar at the bottom of the screen. Uh-huh. Skills like run cost AP to be used at any time you click and turn. Yep. I saw spells were there, too. Uh, where's our AP? Right there. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Disrupts prepared actions. I think I'm just going to smack him. Hold alt to expand. Oh. So I'm not going to do much damage. To this All right, now if we don't move, we should be able just to shoot her. Ready reaction, taking a shot against an enemy that moves within your line of sight until the next turn. Dealing four damage. Wow, we just do so little damage here. Okay, we should have done at least one damage to... Oh, does the armor absorb? Alright. AP per use. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. What are these? Prophecies and healing. Okay. Oh, I click. I click. I'm like, all right. I got. I feel like I don't have it. Sin. Deal damage. Restore armor points to an ally. Oh, there's a cover system. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, hold on. Spells and relics besides skills. Your character can also become the conduit for a spell. Spells cost mana and need to be unlocked. See in your action bar to see what spells you have. Some relics also provide you with unique skills and often don't cost action points. Cover. Uh, ranged attacks can be blocked by cover. When you hover over a tile, attacks coming from beyond the red line are less likely to hit. To see if you're, to see your hit chance from a specific tile, note the yellow percentile of the target. See the next step for more details. All right. The shield icon can describe if the cover is low, given a 60% chance or high blocking attacks. Okay. Green means you're out of range of all enemies. Sure. Yellow means an enemy could target it, but the cover would apply. Red means enemies are flanking that tile, and that cover won't help. Okay. That's, I guess, good to know, probably. Not like do a, a oh, we got mending from that for some strange reason. I think I'm gonna go there just to prevent like additional smacking me. It doesn't look like there is any um, what's the right word here? Oh, that didn't feel good. Ah, reaction shoot. That missed. Don't worry. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any flanking, flanking bone. Oh, we got another shot on him. All right. And then he just moved behind me. All right. Unit information. The unit header presents an at a glance information about a unit. All units possess health and armor points, with armor being restored after each skirmish. Some skills deal specific damage to one of the two. 
Status effects are a large part of combat in the Hand of Merlin. Make sure to hover over unit portraits to get information on what buffs and debuffs each enemy currently possesses. See the next hand for breakdown the most common. Alright, status effects are measured in stacks. Okay. A measure of how powerful the effect is here are some decay. How it loses the stacks. Expiration, how it can lose all stacks. Growth, how it can gain stacks. If a status effect reaches zero stacks, it's automatically expired. Ah, right, that kind of makes sense. Didn't we get a... Yeah, we can hold alt to expand it. And the... Wait, does... it doesn't tell me what those are, though. Like, what is Mending 1 and Keen 2? I don't know what those do. Okay, okay. If we, if we go over here, we can see what they do. Alright, that's good. Uh, restore one armor point at the start of turn. Decay. Okay, sure, sure. Keen. Uh, plus two damage on the next attack. So this guy's going to get worked. Which is nice. I'm going to move here. I sort of just want to move away. I think I want to recharge some armor points here. And we are outside the range of the other guy. And we... Oh, we can't hit that guy? All right. Okay. Oh, preparing. Well, that's not great for you. I thought, we were out of range. I thought that's what the green meant. Or maybe we're out of the range, but they'd have to move in order to, you know. It's fine. All right, we're going. Oh, now what? There's more skirmish options. Here are a few extra things you can do. To the left of the action bar, there are some options to change how some things are rendered. Hover over to explore. And to the right, you'll find buttons for options and hints. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I like all this stuff. Show tile grid boundaries. Uh, I mean... I don't think it matters. The grid looks fine on or off for me. Show formulas in the tooltip ability? What does that mean? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. No, that's fine. And then show range of marked ability tile while run is selected. Fine. I think we're gonna go after the archer. So I'm gonna waddle my way over here, and I'm going to bash him. I guess. I don't know if that was really the best of ideas, but it's what we're, we're gonna work with, I guess. All right. Boom. I know it's it's again still not the best, but it's what we're working with. He should be having a little bit of a bad time at this point. Okay. Focusing on our uh, ranger gal. Okay. Yeah, he's just going to finish it. It's fine. We said good day, sir. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use Asbestos Assault. And then I'm going to hit you with some acidic, acidicness. Giving us some double mending, because apparently the, the overflow from that... Uh, I think I kind of prefer this. There we go. I think I will... Oh, I can't shoot from there. Alright. I think I'll move over next to our, our buddy over here. And we're going to take a shot at you. And we'll get rid of your armor. Or almost. You have one armor left, which is unfortunate. 
You're gonna slap my my Merlin knockoff guy? Come on now. What did Merlin knockoff guy ever do to you? That's right. Give me some more mending. We'll come over here and hang out. All right, and from downtown. Boom shakalaka, it must be the shoes. No, it's fine. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this just in case. I mean, our boys got it, like this dude's done, but still. Uh, it would be cool to see if we could do this and trigger the uh, the effect. I, I do like when games let you do combinations, like Overwatch, punch some dude, knock him out of the way of where he's at triggering the overwatch of your partner like i love combos and things like that and i like the fact that we get these retreat points uh as we continue through i think that's a pretty cool thing right there hero level up available oh and they're gonna tell me about it maybe i don't oh uh resources yeah resources you've gained oh they're not they're not retreat they're they're renown i guess it's your fame okay and then if we retreat, okay, it lowers our... Okay, that makes sense. You have gained resources seen on the top of the screen. When you accumulate 50 renown, like you just did, you can rank up your units in the Warband page. Hover over the other resources to understand their use. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Makes more sense than retreat points. I was like, that's kind of neat. That kind of means that like you have to take certain fights, and if you're in over your head, you can only retreat so much. It, it kind of still acts the same way, except it's, it's renown, and that makes more sense. Uh, we can level up our dudes, right? They said that? Oh, up here. Oh, that's cool. Uh, acquiring new skills. Ranking up allows you to pick a new skill by selecting an open skill slot. Skills are picked from a random pool and offer possibilities for a variety of playstyles. Each character also gains some health to increase your other attributes, find a blacksmith, and acquire better equipment. Sweet. Okay. Oh, interesting. Cleave to all adjacent enemies. Gain some evading. Gain four points of resistance. Interesting. So just damage reduction. Oh, this doesn't cost any AP? Okay. What did you get? We're gonna have to break off the episode, unfortunately, but I'm here for it. Volley, deal four damage to all enemies in the area. That's number my number one right now. Let's see what this one does. Shiv, deal four health damage to an enemy in melee range, bypassing armor. That's really legit too. And then deal three damage twice, either to the same target or to two separate ones. It is less accurate with a 30% accuracy reduction. I mean, that's kind of cool. Um. Uh, I'm going to go volley, but I, Shiv is really good, too. All right, let's see what you got. Not Merlin. Raise Totem. Create a low cover at the center target position. Creates a shielding aura around the cover, granting two stacks of shielded to allies. Huh. It's really, really cool. Uh, blight. Defensive skill. Apply four stacks of blighted to enemy. We don't know what that does. It's, oh, it does, it does it's down here. Sorry. Didn't notice it. When taking damage via an ability, restore four armor points to the attacker. Oh. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. And then martyrdom. When hit outside of your turn, allies of this unit react with an out-of-turn action with one AP and reducing cooldowns by minus or by one. Huh, that's also kind of cool. Ooh, that's tough, man. All, all three of those are pretty good. I'm gonna go with the totem, though. I think Blight's probably the better one. I'm just really curious to see how the totem plays. And I feel like you could use that as, like, a choke point and all sorts of stuff. Like, there seems to be some pretty good ramifications around this. At least from my my simple simple brain. Anyway, guys and gals, we got to break it off there, which is a little bit saddening, but I, I really like this game a lot. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff. I love the way the combat works. Um, I like the, it's more of like a storybook feel, like you go to each of these different places, 
and this is what's happening and this is why it's happening and here's your choices of how you can react to this and so on and so forth i think that's that's quite quite awesome and, and it's a pretty cool way of going about things um i don't know again specifically where i need to go i know we're supposed to be heading to some b place like brionac or something but uh i know that was that was a uh, brionac gaze was uh what's her name uh, seraphina from disgaea 5's uh, thing but we're supposed to be heading to some place, and I have no idea where that place is. And there doesn't seem to be anything on my map indicating it. And right now it doesn't really matter for the sake of the video, but I, I clearly missed something, and I don't know how to unmiss it. So I guess maybe uh, more of a clear objective somewhere, somehow, would be, uh, would be useful. These are reward types... City, arcane, heroic. Eh. I don't know, maybe maybe our, our goal is to go clear the entire map. But I remember specifically saying that we needed to get to a town. And, oh, here it is. Ah, there it is. Okay. It's uh, the city of Corbenic. That's what it is. And uh, we have not made it there. There's no danger on that spot. Anyway, pretty cool stuff all around, guys and gals. Sorry, I wanted to take a couple of extra seconds there to actually look around and see if we couldn't figure some stuff out. Like I said, really, really cool game. I'm very eager to dive in, check this thing out again as it goes through its early access. And you know I'm going to be playing this when it releases fully. So, either way, folks, that's going to do it for this first look video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the 12 days of bump miss and you got to see something new each and every day. And uh, we did it during the Steam Winter Sale. That way, if it was something that was already out, there's a pretty good chance that it was heavily discounted and you guys will be able to grab it. If it's not out, you can always wishlist it and hopefully pick it up in the next sale or whenever it does actually finally release. So, good times all around. Either way, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developers, publisher, or any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like there always are. Subscribe, like, share, do the YouTube garbage, guys and gals. And until the very next First Look video, episode of whatever, however brings you back here i've been your host bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show we play we fight we conquer